The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode, we'll tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from Wilfrid Laurier University. If you're wearing a COVID-19 mask, chances are you're socially responsible and you're a good citizen. It means that you follow public safety guidelines and care for others. But does that perception change when an Asian wears a face mask or a black man or a Muslim woman for whom the face veil or niqab is outlawed but a face mask is okay? For example, Asians in North America have been represented as diseased foreigners for over a hundred years. Recently, they've been blamed as pandemic starters. In fact, Canadian press photos of the 2003 SARS crisis used Asians wearing masks as a dominant image. Could this have encouraged their derogatory image? The trend of using masked Asian faces as an emblem of COVID-19 still goes on. A mask-wearing Asian is not a good citizen, slowing the spread of COVID-19, but a source of infection. On top of that, Trump is constantly referring to COVID-19 as the Chinese virus. This is not helping. Hate crimes against Asians have increased during the pandemic with physical and verbal assaults and vandalism. The community faces a difficult choice. Wear a mask and risk violence or don't wear it and risk infection. The black community already faces immense racial inequality. COVID-19 has not made it easier for them. A black doctor in Miami was handcuffed outside his home by the police. He was wearing a surgical mask. A black doctor in Boston said, and I quote, I wonder whether someone would call the police on me, a suspicious black man in a face mask. I negotiate with myself whether risking my life is worth a $300 fine, end quote. A black clergy in Illinois worked with local police to start a campaign called Tipping the Mask. It asked people to show their face to shopkeepers when entering stores to prevent potential racial fears and violence. What about the Muslim community? In Quebec, for example, Bill 21 outlaws religious symbols in public. Muslim women wearing a niqab are violating the law and are denied access to social services. This in spite of government requests for public face coverings due to COVID-19. Niqab-wearing Muslim women are not considered good liberal citizens. Their covered faces, it seems, are culturally not compatible with Western society values. But those wearing COVID-19 masks are seen as good citizens upholding the public good. So what does it all mean? American anti-racism educator Peggy McIntosh talks about privileges that white people often take for granted. Basic things like going shopping and not being followed or harassed, never being asked to speak for all white people, and not having to educate one's children to be aware of systemic racism for their own daily physical protection. It seems that the cultural politics behind wearing a face mask has exposed the racial problems of COVID-19. This story was adapted from Jasmine Zine's conversation article Unmasking the Racial Politics of the Coronavirus Pandemic. Zine is a professor of sociology at Wilfrid Laurier University.